Hello everybody and welcome back down to Creek. Today we're going to be going over my top five gift ideas for the fishermen on your list. So if you have a fisherman that you're trying to buy a gift for and you're not sure what to get them, you're in the right place. So stay tuned for the video. I've also put together a recommended products list and a list of camera gear that I use to film my videos. So at the end, you know, at the end of the video, make sure that you check out the description in this video. It'll have everything listed with links for you to follow. And if you follow the links, it will help out the channel. So I ask that you guys follow my links and use them. And uh, anything that comes from that will go back into the channel to make us, you know, better, faster, stronger uh, for the next year. Also, we're so close to 100 subscribers. We're, we're just right around the corner. And my goal this year was to have 100 subscribers by 2020. So please guys, check out my channel, check out some of my older content. If you like those videos, hit that subscribe button, give me a like, leave a comment, something. We're right around the corner and I believe that we can make it to 100 subscribers by 2020. This will be my last video until after the holiday. I'm gonna take a little holiday break. Um, I will be coming back in January. Uh, to do some more videos. Uh, but that's enough about all that. Let's get in today's video. Okay guys, so you're trying to buy your loved one, uh, friend, family, something that is a fisherman in your family, you're trying to find them a good gift that they're going to use uh, time and time again. You really want to surprise them, but you know, you got a budget and you really don't spend want to spend over, you know, let's say $50. Well guys, you're in the right place because I'm going to go over my top five gifts right now. So without any further delay. Let's start off with number five. And number five is a very simple item, but I'll tell you what, I use one just about every time I go fishing. And it is a rod holder. I use a rod holder just about every time I go. And they're pretty affordable and they have a bunch of different designs. Um, here, let me give you some examples. So up on your screen now, what you're looking at is the South Bend Heavy duty spiral fishing rod holder. Uh, I use one of these every time I go fishing. This is my preferred uh, fishing rod holder. It is extremely affordable at $5.22. And I found this link here on Amazon. Um, it's pretty straightforward. It's easy to use. It's affordable, it's dependable, and it's simple. So anybody of any skill level can use this item to fish. And just like other tackle options, rod holder comes in many different shapes and sizes. So what we're, we're looking at right now is a heavy duty rod holder, but they also make just a standard rod holder. Now this one is $3.48. It's a Berkeley spiral fishing rod holder. The difference is gonna be in the thickness of the wire that they use to create it Heavy duty rod is made for uh, more heavy duty rod where these, uh, just these standard rods, holders, the spiral fishing rod holder, same design, it's just gonna be a smaller diameter of wire. And if you really wanna get fancy, you can go to uh, one of these models. Uh, it's adjustable, it swivels, and it will even hold your root beer. But that's enough about that, so anyways, you know, you really can spend a little bit of money on this if you want. This one right here is $43.99, and uh, it's pretty awesome. I have never used this one particular before. However, I would. I just don't think you need to spend that much money. But if you wanted to buy them a really nice gift, hey, this would be cool. You know, especially if you, you know your loved one spends a lot of time 
on the water and wants somewhere he can put his root beer. So, anyways, let's move on to the next item. Okay, so you're out fishing and you catch a fish and you want to take it home and flay it up, but it's early in the day and you want to keep your fish alive. So, will you need a stringer or what I use, even better product, a basket. So, I'm going to put my example up here. Here is my example of what I use. It's a Berkeley floating wire basket. This one is 15 inches and it's $14.98. That's an amazing price. Um, it's, again, can be used by any fisherman of any skill level. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, your fish go into the basket. It keeps them in the water and allows them to stay alive and fresh until you're ready to fillet them and turn them into a fish sandwich. Um, the lid at the top of the basket floats, allowing the basket to drape down below the water and makes almost like a bank fishing live well. Uh, a live well is a device on a boat that is used to keep fish alive. This is the bank fishing version. Um, I use one of these regularly. They are pretty sturdy. They hold up pretty well. Um, if you throw them in rocky areas, you can break the wire. But for $14, um, you can always replace it fairly easy. So if you're a bank fisherman and you don't have one of these or your loved one doesn't have one of these, I would suggest you pick them up one. It's worth it. Okay, so my next item on the list, my number three item, um, can be very important in certain circumstances. Now, I know growing up, the one thing I always said is, man, I wish I had a net. I didn't use a net very often, and it made it extremely hard sometimes, especially when you were landing big fish. And I lost a lot of fish because I was trying to drag them up the bank or something because the net was just a big bulky item, something else I had to carry. But nowadays they've solved that problem with this product. This here is a folding dip net. It is pretty well designed. It folds down pretty compact. Usually when you're a bank fisherman, you have to travel a little bit. There's some walking involved to get from the pickup to the spot or from where you're parked your vehicle to where you're fishing or in my case even from my garage to my fishing spot there's a little bit of walking there. Uh, not that I have the a big problem with travelability but when I do go fishing elsewhere um, I want to have gear that packs up and fits nicely in a bucket or in a wagon or in some sort of device that allows me to carry in my gear as easy as possible. And this net checks all those boxes. It's designed with the fish safe uh, net material, so you're not going to be tearing those fish up. It's built pretty well, and it folds up very small, so it'll fit in your backpack, it'll fit in your bucket, it'll fit in your wagon or in your fish cart. Um, it, it's pretty awesome for $11. 12, well, $11.99, so $12. And you know what? This would be a great gift idea for the fisherman on your list. Even if the fisherman on your list likes to ride in a boat. Because you know what? It'll fit in a boat storage area fairly easily. And it's just an awesome product. I really enjoy it. Now, I know I said that I wanted to keep it under $50. And this product kind of goes against that. This product is actually... $55. But that $5 more is worth every penny. And you can find options that are under $50. And my next product is the King Kong chair from Elps Mountaineering. This is the chair that I have switched to. I use it uh, every time I go fishing and it has been an outstanding addition uh, to my fishing experience. Um, this one is $55.99. Uh, the link is below in the description. And it also here, if you can see here, it gives some dimensions, height. And here's the key, guys. Weight capacity is 800 pounds, which means this thing is built to last. I am a big boy, 
and I tend to break chairs. Uh, when they are built poorly, cheaply, they cannot stand up to how big of a man I am. I am a big man, and I'm not afraid to say it. It's very obvious. So, when I buy things like fishing chairs, I want to know that it's going to last me some time. Because the last thing you want to do is be in your deer blind or be at the bank and have your chair break and then you have to spend the rest of your trip of this wonderful day you had planned of fishing sitting on the ground or sitting on a bucket in an uncomfortable situation. When I go fishing, I want to be comfortable. I want to relax and I want to enjoy myself. And this chair right here checks all those boxes. It's got plenty of storage, it's got cup holders, and it's built tough. However, this chair is a little on the heavier side because it's built so well. But that being said, is I'd rather haul in a little bit heavier of a chair than haul out a broken piece of garbage chair that broke on me when I was trying to use it. That's why this chair made my top five list and I would suggest that you guys definitely consider this chair if you are looking to buy your loved one a chair for his fishing, outdoors, or even just the barbecue adventure. It's worth every penny. Okay guys, last but not least, my number one pick uh, for you to buy the Fisherman on your gift list this year is the Shakespeare Ugly Stick GX2 Fishing Rod and Spinning Reel Combo. Uh, this rod and reel combo runs $42.99 on Amazon. It is a prime item with free returns and uh, I've selected the 6.6 medium two-piece for a reason because the 6.6 medium two-piece is an outstanding all-around fishing rod and you can do pretty much any type of fishing that you want. So if you want to buy your loved one a fishing pole, you don't really know much about fishing, you don't really know much about the type of fishing that they do, uh, you can't go wrong with this rod because there's pretty much nothing you can't do with it or a species that you couldn't target. I definitely suggest that you check that out. And that's it for, for today's video. That's my list, my uh, top five items. I hope that you got some value out of it. And remember, I did put together a you know preferred products list below. Uh, make sure you check that out. If you're interested in any projects, follow the link. It'll take you right to what you need to buy. And uh, hey, you know what? I appreciate you guys uh, watching to the end. And I wish you guys a Merry Christmas. Christmas is right around the corner. And I will be taking a break for the rest of the year so I will not make another video until uh, 2020 which is roughly from today about two weeks so guys I wanna thank you again for the awesome support I've gotten this year um, I'm shooting for 100 subscribers by 2020 so if you've watched this video and you haven't subscribed yet make sure you get out there Make sure you check out my channel and make sure you hit that subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up and leave a comment. I'd love to hear from all my viewers. I take any type of criticism as long as it's constructive. Uh, if I've said something wrong or if you think that you have something to add, I'd love to hear from you guys. So remember, as always guys, get out and live. We'll see you in 2020.